Good morning, third grade writers. I wanted to talk to you today about the Passion Project and give you a couple of different options. So one option could be um, researching an animal, which we talked about in our Passion Project video. But if you're feeling a little bit confused about the best way to go about the Passion Project, then um, I thought this could help you. So you would select an animal that you're interested in and read about it. Remember, you can find books on Epic or anywhere in our library databases, okay? And then there's this chart for you to fill out. So if you're not sure really what you should research, this tells you all the things to look for. The animal's name, you can delete this picture and put a different picture of the animal that you are researching. Where does it live? What does it eat? Um, when it's an adult, what are its size? When it's a baby, right? how big does it get? And maybe three more interesting facts. And hopefully that will help you have a focus. And when you finish with that, you could take that information and you can make a Google slide or a Bunsy to share what you learned. Okay, and I can show you more about that tomorrow. But for today, I think that would be enough for you to pick your animal, read about it, and put your information in. Okay, so if you were feeling stuck or not sure what to do, then I'm going to suggest that you pick an animal and do that research. Okay, but if you are um, moving forward with the passion project that I shared the other day, you picked your category and you did a reading. Okay, one of the things that I said you could do is a Bunsy presentation. So today I want to show you how I made a Bunsy presentation about Helen Keller. The other day I showed you how I started my A to Z book, which I still need to finish. These are all different options for how you could share your information. But a Bunsy presentation is one option. So what I did was I took my notes about Helen Keller and then I put them in my own words to write about her. Okay, and I tried to tell her life in order. When you are writing about a person, you want to give um, the history of that person and think about when they were young and when they got older. It makes sense to tell it in that order, okay? But this was my introduction slide, and I found a quote from Helen Keller that says, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. So I wrote, Helen Keller was a very inspirational person who overcame two major disabilities to write books, encourage others, and live a full and interesting life. So those were my own words, right? When I'm writing about something I researched, I don't want to just copy what I found in a book because that's actually called plagiarism and it's kind of like stealing someone else's words. So after you read something, you want to find a way to put it into your own words, okay? So you almost like put your notes to the side and then you put it in your own words. Okay, so I went back to find information, but then I wrote it in my own way. This is a picture of Helen when she was a baby. Helen Keller was born on June 27, 1888 in Alabama. Her parents were Captain Arthur Keller and Kate Adams Keller. Helen's family was on the wealthy side. She was born in perfect health, but at 19 months old, she got a very high fever. Today, doctors think it must have been meningitis. Helen almost died. She recovered, but was left blind and deaf. Okay, so I have another picture that I found of Helen, and I wrote a little caption. That's Helen with her baby sister, Mildred. Helen's family did not know how to talk to her. Helen would get very upset and throw tantrums. She ate the food off of everyone's plate. When her sister Mildred was born, Helen threw her out of her crib so she could put her own doll in it. Helen's parents wanted to get help for her. Helen's mom read a book that mentioned a place called the Perkins Institute that treated blind people. They also met with Dr. Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the telephone. He put them in touch with a teacher who could work with Helen. The teacher's name was Annie Sullivan. Annie Sullivan came to live with Helen Keller when Helen was a child. At first, Annie and Helen had trouble getting along. Annie was strict with Helen and did not let her get away with all her tantrums. Annie would spell words in the palm of Helen's hand to help her connect objects with names. It took a long time, but Helen connected the word water as she felt water coming from a well. Annie taught her many, many words after that. When Helen got older, Annie went with her to help her at Radcliffe College. While there, Helen wrote a book called The Story of My Life. Helen learned to read by using Braille. She wrote many books. She worked for the American Foundation for the Blind. She would visit injured soldiers during World War II to help them understand that they could enjoy life even though they may have lost their sense of sight or sound. In 1964, Helen was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is a huge honor. 
Helen died on June 1st, 1968, but she is still a person we can learn from and be inspired by today. And there's Helen's medal. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that um, you could use Buncee to share your information. Okay, so that's how I did for Helen. So now you can see two things I've done to show you um, about my topic, which is Helen Keller. And there's more things I could try, but I just wanted to show you that today. Okay, but again, if you're feeling like you're a little bit confused about this passion project and you don't really know what to look for, then I'm going to ask you to please pick an animal that you want to learn about. Okay, and today, work on reading about that animal and filling in the research information. All right, everyone, can't wait to see what you come up with.